And from Kisumu County, we now want to take you to Nakuru County, where for women trying to make it in business, another interesting discussion is taking place there. There are many barriers that stand in their way. We are talking about issues like lack of loans to a difficult business environment. But what solutions exist? That's what I want to find out now. Mirian Yambura, what solutions uh, do you expect or do you hope will come out of that particular meeting of women in business? <laughs> Well, a very good morning to you. Good morning to you, Ihiga in studio. Indeed, uh, the situation here is that uh, we hope uh, that uh, some of the barriers that they will be able to break are uh, some of the barriers that are actually uh, making them not to succeed in this uh, sector. Remember the entrepreneurial uh, sector for women. We understand that uh, women face twice uh, the hurdles that any uh, than any other or other than the men uh, who dominate uh, the business industry. So we will be speaking to some of the uh, women entrepreneurs here we can see uh, dozens of them already trickling in here just to ensure that there's that empowerment at the end of the day maybe just speaking to margaret kindly join us here if you could start off with uh, what are some of the challenges that you uh, women in uh, the entrepreneurial sector face in general and what do you think are some of the solutions ahead of uh, uh, this event uh, thank you very much for this opportunity uh, i can say as women we face we face so many challenges uh, one of them is a uh, problem of funding in adequate funding from the financial institutions around. You find that uh, there's so much that is paid for you to get funding from the uh, banks and even other financial institutions. There's so much they ask for. So you find uh, to us women, it is a big impediment. Also, there's timidity in, in this industry, whereby you find that as women, uh, we are looked at as, uh, you know, uh, we cannot make it, you know. Our main counterparts in this industry, you find that uh, to them, they, you know, they know that, you know, they can do better than us. Uh, also, you find that um, we have to balance responsibilities, whereby as a woman, you know, I have other duties to do fam in, in my family and other places. And so you find that it's also a big challenge. Uh, the issue of gender inequality, whereby men are, you know, men are looked at as to be better, you know, people than us. Yes. Maybe you could tell us uh, there are those challenges, yes, but how do you make sure that you break that barrier and what are some of the solutions that you hope to get uh, at the end of the day following uh, this conference? Uh, Personally, uh, I think um, by approaching uh, these financial institutions, uh, like for this particular event for Barclays, uh, I would like to applaud Barclays Bank for this opportunity to be here today so that we are able to, you know, talk about it. They are able from their end to unravel ways through which we as women, we are able to get these opportunities. Thank yes. you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Maybe Wahiga, just briefly, just to speak to the head of SMEs at Backlist, just briefly, you could tell us what, are some, what stands out uh, when it comes to the challenges that women face in general when it comes to uh, entrepreneurship. All right. Uh, thank you for that opportunity. My name is Susan Situma. I head SME Banking at Backlist Kenya. Uh, for us, the key challenges that stand out for your question. Number one is uh, collateral for them to be able to access finance. But for me, I'll go back a little further and say, how do I make sure that they can access financing? And that's through education, capacity building, helping them understand what is it as us banks are looking for, for them to be able to come ready when they're ready for them to get the finance to us. So it's more around education, capacity building, making sure that they're confident about what they're doing, just delivering the passion with which they have for the business when they come to us to access finance. That to me is one of the things that we really say, if we can help them unlock remove the fear of coming and accessing the formal financing from us, I think they, they are ready to try. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. Uh, well, by Higa, uh, there you have it. Uh, that is, those are some of the uh, testimonials and also the head of SME, Susan, just shedding more light about uh, this whole issue. I remember uh, we have been able to, uh, we've been really informed that it's all matters, changing the narrative because uh, most of these women actually face uh, hurdles twice as much, twice as, uh, as the men male dominated uh, which is a male dominated industry so we understand that it's all matters about changing that narrative and ensuring
ensuring that at the end of the day uh, the solutions are provided and to make sure that uh, they succeed in uh, the generally in the business industry. Back to you, Wahiga. Thank you so much, uh, Marianne Yambura, talking about the challenges that women in business face in Nakuru County and they are at a forum where that will be uh, the theme or the key talking point uh, this morning. All right, on that note, we take a short break. When we come back, more updates. I've got lots of news for you and I'll be giving that to you on the other side of this break. Keep it daybreak. <laughs>